Close to your man. You won't get it out of me, cause that be a casualty. Good YouTube, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy, <laughs> Q that Rude Boy, aka the way, man, 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 man. Stop playing with me, stop playing with me, stop playing with me. Hey, look, we back at like crack addicts. You already know how you're rocking, and you already know how I'm coming at y'all today with the Mr. Uh, ha, 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 uh. If you already know who I'm talking about, man, <laughs> thumbs up this video because you the chosen one. You heard? <laughs> you found the last Dragon Ball. You feel me? Look. If you already know who I'm talking about, man, it's YFN Lucci, man. Yeah. Ho, 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 I might fuck your hoe and pay up bill. Yeah, we won't talk to get it how we live. Yeah. Vocal effects tour, let's get right into the bang, thing, thing. Before I do, I gotta tell everybody, look, if you're part of the family, if you wanna be part of the family, make sure you guys subscribe down low. And if you haven't subscribed to Wave Monopoly yet, head to the video, check it out, man. We started a new channel, you already know how we coming. Showing y'all more, more, more. Y'all want more? I'm gonna give y'all more, you feel me? Definitely, you already know how you rocking. Look, let's get right into this brain dang thing, and I'm gonna, uh, let me shout out some of my uh, family members right here, right now, okay? All right, all right. First person I wanna shout out is CK Hancho. You feel me? Not Quavo, but CK Hancho. It should be somewhere on this screen, you feel me? Next person I wanna shout out is Xavier the Rapper, man. I wanna thank y'all for leaving them comments on the Instagram. You already know how we rocking. If you guys wanna shout out on the next video, make sure you guys just head to my Instagram at QDAROOBOY on Instagram and Twitter. Leave a comment, something genuine, and guys, it could be your chance to get featured on the channel. You heard? Right? You heard right? her? Alright, let's get right into the brain thing thing. Let's get it. I'm getting right into this, you feel me? Alright, so this is what we're gonna get into today, man. If my mama knew that I was selling bricks, she would leave me alone. But that there just showed me it's hard hard and it's hard life. I was in the game where you couldn't trust a bitch, now that's a homie. And that there just showed me it's hard grind. It's a hard life. When I was young, all I knew was dough to dough, cash to cow. Selling fiends that we hear about them overdose. We had to get it any way it goes. I was young when I stood up by that corner store. Ain't no gun, but her pockets bulge. We was getting dope. If you wanted, we would all the smoke. Yeah, we would all the smoke. Yeah, y'all, you already know how you rockin', man. You already know if you wanna hear the rest of that song, make sure you guys head to the SoundCloud FLP download vocal preset. Is going to be in the description, so make sure you guys check that out if you're interested. Let's get right to this tutorial, guys. You already know how I'm rocking, man. Let's get it, man. First things first, guys. If you want to sound like any rapper, the first thing you have to sound like this rapper. First things first, guys. We know why FN Lucci is a melodic rapper. So with that melodic <laughs> rapper wave, you have to use the uh, auto tune. You feel me? This isn't auto sing. This does not make you be able to sing. It's called auto tune. Girl, I've been thinking, I've been thinking of all the things that I want to do to you. I want you. We're going to keep you a little bit in tune if you can hold one. You feel me? So, first things first, guys, like I tell you all the time, your auto tune is largely dependent on the beat that you are given. Okay? When you have a beat, there's a certain key that that beat in. That that beat is in, which you have to be singing in as well. Okay? X plus Y equals auto tune. You feel what I'm saying? So, X is the beat, Y is huh, your voice equals magic. Okay? Look, you already know how I'm rocking. So, first things first, guys, with this beat that I got, the auto tune was um, it was a D flat major scale. That's the scale and um, the key. And the retune speed, we went ahead and did 13 because. YFM Lucci doesn't have like a T-Pain effect, so we went ahead and put that 13 on that man, you feel what I'm saying? And we used the, her, the uh, Human Eyes at 11, because we wanted it to sound relatively, you know, kind of just like the voice. You just want to be in a tune, you feel me? Like, you don't want to have it sound like T-Pain, because if this was a T-Pain effect, what we would do is put all these to zero, and that would be the T-Pain effect. But we're going for YFM Lucci, so we're going to move it up to 13, and we're going to put it up to uh, Human Eyes to 11. Like it was. So, I'm gonna play that for you guys right now. Let's get into it. All I knew was dough to dough. Cash the cows, cows, flow to flow. flow. Where we were selling fiends, then we hear about them overdose. We had to get it anyway, it goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As you
you guys can hear, it does not change your voice. It just keeps you in a tune that gives you the sound of today. If you guys listen, it's a little off. You, you, you know, it just doesn't have that sound of today without the auto tune. So you just add the auto tune and boom. What out, tat out, bang, thing, thing, we in this thing, thing, thing. Stop playing with your man, man, man. All right? Look, man, make sure you guys always change your input type to about auto tenor because that kind of gives you the tone of the auto tune that we're going for. And you got that thing. You feel me? All right, let's get into this next thing, man. Parametric EQ2. You guys already know how we rocking on this side, so let's get right to this bang, thing, thing. Look, first things first, you want to do a high cut. So you want to right click, and this is how you get your, right, your uh, high pass cut. You go to type high pass. That allows the highs to pass, the higher frequencies to pass, meaning we're cutting out the lows, okay? You want to cut out the lows because, guys, you don't want your track to sound muddy. You want to get rid of the bad frequencies. Also, what we did, we also took a dip into the uh, 243 hertz. This is around, like, kind of like the bass range. I'll play this for you right now. Um, it's like the bass range, so you'll hear what I'm talking about when I raise this up. This is called a frequency sweep, guys. All I knew was do to do, cash a couch, flow to flow. If you guys are listening through headphones, if you guys are listening through uh, monitors, which are speakers, studio speakers, if you guys are listening through anything like that, you will hear a kind of like a bassy tone. So that was around 243 range. All I knew was do to do, cash a couch, flow to flow. So what we want to do to get that bad frequency out, you want to subtract that. You feel me? Subtract that. You feel me? So go ahead, take that out, man. That's called a frequency sweep where you sweep, you extend it all the way to the top, and you sweep left and right to find the bad ranges. And we also did that to find this range right here, which is um, the 503 hertz, which is a range that kind of consists of a boxy range. Uh, basically, if you're probably recording in your closet and you're wondering why your, your stuff still sounds bad, it's because your closet is not treated, and it will give you a boxy sound. And this is kind of what... Um, 503 kind of gives you a boxy sound when you extend it up here. I'll play it for you. All I knew was do to do, cash a couch. Just want to get that out. You feel me? Take that out. We don't want none of that. You feel me? Diddy with it. Take that. Take that. You, we're going to get somebody out there. You feel me? All right. So we got rid of that. And also what we want to do is we want your vocals to cut, guys. So what we did was we um, boosted at the 3500 range and also the 9500 range, guys, as you can see right here. All right, let's get into this next parametric EQ2. This is the second EQ on the same mixer track. Now, what we did here, we wanted it to kind of get an R&B air. So what I did was I moved the, um, we just went in there, got a simple parametric EQ, and just boosted uh, around the 12, the 12,000, 12,000 range, all right? We just went ahead and rose, raised that, and I'll let you guys hear what that basically does with both EQs. All I knew was do to do, cash a couch, flow to flow. Where we were selling things that we hear about them overdose. We had to get it any way it goes. I was young when I stood up by that corner store. Ain't no gun, but her pockets bulge. We was getting dope. Now, basically, like I said, guys, that just get your vocals real tight. And that last EQ is just to. It's not to do too much, guys. It's just to put a simple air over the higher frequency sound just to can give you that whisper track over the top of the track to make it sound really nice and smooth and cut. Next thing we did, guys, we just got a de -esser. We wanted to take the siblings out of when you hear s -s -s -s. We wanted to take those out. So what we do is you just go here, get the Maximus. You go to Preset, and you want to press the uh, DS narrow band. And also you want to go here and move the threshold of the ratio, and you lit. Like, bick. You already know how you rock it, man. <laughs> Let, let, let. You feel me? Let me stop though. All right. For the EQ, guys, you already know, man. I always say I think the EQ and the compression makes your track. If You got to get that right. EQ and compression, and you're good, bro. So, guys, this is the compression we use, man. We did an 8 to 1 ratio just to simplify this fast attack, always with rap vocals, aggressive vocals. You want it to activate as soon as it hits that threshold. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Straight like that, all right? Um, negative 33 threshold, man. You already know how you're rocking, man. You feel me? All right, man. Facts, you heard? All right, next thing, guys. Sound good eyes. We didn't want to go too crazy with this because we already had a cutting vocal, all right? So what we wanted to do with the sound good eyes is just add. We just wanted to cut just a little bit more. So let me play this with and without the sound good eyes. All I knew was do to do, do. cash a couch, couch, flow to flow, flow. Where we were selling things that we hear about them overdose. We had to get it any way it goes. Yeah. I was young when I stood up by that corner store. 
As you guys can hear, that added that real body to that vocal. You feel me? Body to body, body to body. I don't need a rush, girl, but we should be. That's the wrong song, my guy. <laughs> you feel me? But you get what I'm saying. It adds that body. You feel me? So that's what we did, man. Sound good, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just play these different presets. We used preset A, and we just went about this far, a little under one-fourth the way, because we didn't want to just distort the vocal too much. Because if you do too much saturation, saturation will take effect, and it'll start to kind of distort your vocal and just get OD. So I'm going to just go ahead and go through these presets, and you'll hear what they do. All I knew was do to do, cash the cow, flow to flow. Where we were selling fiends, then we hear about them overdose. We had to get it any way it goes. So that's basically it, guys. All right. Next thing we did, we got the reverb right here. And you guys know how I'm rocking already, man. Sub bus gang, you heard? So we went ahead and just moved that reverb by one fourth the way, man. This is the reverb I used right here, man. Um, yeah, one fourth, almost one fourth the way. And then we're let's get into this um delay. You you guys already know. If your delay is off, I don't want to hear your track. If your delay is off, don't send me no track. If your delay is off, you don't need to take no days off. If your delay is off, no days off for you, okay? So first thing you guys want to do is um basically I'll, I'll play what, what I mean. John, all I knew was do to do, cash the couch, flow to flow, where we was, we was, where you hear the delay, it's on time, guys. This can be one of the most distracting things if your delay is off time, guys. So best advice for you is this is how you get it on time. You play with this knob right here. But an easy trick, guys, is look. Shout out the producer, man. Shout out Celeb one time, man. You already know how I'm rocking. Links in the description, man. Shout out Celeb. He put for the beat is 162 BPM. I'm stupid. <laughs> Cause he put that right there and I couldn't even put it in the BPM right here. So Word of advice, if you get the B and you know the BPM, you can also tap out the BPM in multiple different things. You can right click and you could tap. Just a lot of different ways you could do this, guys. But like I'm saying, the BPM is 162. So I should put 162 up here, guys, at the beginning of the track. Because if you wait until you already start recording, your vocals are going to get off time if you move it after that. But I should put 162 in here and then boom, you get your delay. Boom. Get your delay right there. You want to right click, set, and you can move it. And all these are going to be on time, guys. All these are going to be on time. So that's the easy way, man. Don't be like me when you grow up. Be better. <laughs> all right. That's the end of the main vocal right there, guys. Let's get into these background vocals, how we get this sound right here. It's bad. All right, guys, everything applies from the main vocal to the background vocal, guys. So just copy those effects over. I'm going to tell you the difference right here, right now. Right here, right now. All right, let's get into it. You already know how you rock it, man. Parametric EQ is definitely going to change, guys. That's give you your, your basic sound of your tracks, period. So basically what we did, we did a high pass cut like we did. You already know how you're rocking. And a low pass cut, guys. Now, that low pass, it allows the lows to pass. And high it allows the highs to pass. So we got a highs to pass. We got a lows to pass. It's going to give you... Something that look like this. You feel me? All right. So once you get that, guys, you basically just do a high pass around 5,100. Uh, 50, do a low pass at about 400 and just raise the mid-range up and boom. You got that telephone effect, guys. That's basically what we're going for, a telephone effect. And the second thing we did, we changed the sound good eyes of the C, guys, to give it a more mid rangey sound instead of a high top, top end type of sound. And we moved the reverb up, guys, and you already know what time it was. That's when you sounded like YFN Lucci. What? <laughs> yeah. You know how you rockin', man? It's your boy, Young Q. <laughs> it's your boy, The Wave. <laughs> the Wave, man, man, man. We out here. And we out here. You feel me? If you haven't checked out The Wave Monopoly, you already know. Go ahead, check that out. SoundCloud reaction on <laughs> screaming, screaming on Sunday. You're in the home rockin', man. Look. All right, let me start. That was, that was wild. And that wraps it up for today's vocal effect tutorial. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Cute Arrow Boy, aka The Wave Man, man, man. We back at like Crack X. You already know what time it is. Look, Sunday, Slav, Sean, Cloud Reaction, man. Scream on this thing, thing. You already know how I'm rocking, man. Look. Dunzos.